Okay. Again, yeah, welcome home. Kawhi, look to the camera. We tell everybody welcome home. I tell them it's just like Dorothy when she clicked the heels. She said, ain't nothing like home, man. Nothing like home. Appreciate it being here. Yes, sir. And um, like I say, the kids are fouling in and everything. Uh, I'm glad you're coming in and showing just, just stick with your dreams. You know, one day at a time. You know, some people try to make it bigger than it, but you do it one day at a time, a little at a time until you reach your goal. So, you know, and, uh, uh, to see you, uh, to see each one more, uh, myself, I come off the street, and sometimes they try to paint us and put us in a box, but uh, boxes can't contain us. We only live in our imagination, our desire, and that's what I've seen in you. And I'm humbled to stand right next to you and just say, they can't brand us. They can't brand us because they right here, never give up. Never give up. So I'm proud of you, brother. I appreciate and it. Just keep on. Thank you. Appreciate you going to the city too. Mm -hmm. Got a good thing. Yeah, like yeah. well, like I say, man, this uh, it gave me a fifteen million dollar budget nightmare. That's gone. <laughs> We're starting to do uh, projects across the whole city. Uh, when you come back, each one come back, that give us the connection with the kids. You know, because they can see me, but then there's a continental right. divide between them. When you get to me, you guys are already in the middle. And, and that's the nominee, that's the group, that's what got into us as a community. So, again, I'm, I'm humbled and proud. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, just a glorious day to have someone from Chicago come back and give back. Uh, so we're all here to greet them. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and future stars of our future of Chicago. Today we have in our present Mr. K. Wan Short. He's a East Chicagoan. He graduated from East Chicago Central in 2008. He played on the football team and the state basketball team. He not only left East Chicago, he went on and furthered his education at the University of Purdue, where he's a college graduate. Not only going to Purdue, he ended up being such a great football player, he ended up going to the NFL. And he plays with the Carolina Panthers. But we're most proud of Mr. Short is he never be shook up. He came from a modest area, a single parent. He had a lot of barriers in front of him. He did not let that be an excuse. He went on and got his college education. And he's a good person. He's the most humblest person I've ever known. He helped become a big head. So you can make it as well. Look at it. That's what you want to be. That's what you want to be an example of. Somebody from East Chicago has done extremely well. And he's coming back to say hello to you guys. So show your appreciation and say thank you, Mr. Short. Chicago, Indiana, I'm from the Harvard, you know, some of you guys might not know that, but uh, I went to East Chicago, went to field school, graduated high school in 08, I'm only 25, and one thing that I, that I focused on growing up was, was one thing was to never give up on anything that I wanted to do. I mean, I played basketball, I played football, both of those things was, was one of my biggest assets that I could do. I wasn't good in school, but I also strived, I knew school had to be my first priority to do my sport, so I had to get good grades, you know, go to school every day, not want to fake being sick. <laughs> so uh, those things that I did and 
uh, it led me to where I'm at today. Um, now all I think about is school, think about going back to school when I get done with football, get my master's degree, uh, you know, try to help out better at Chicago, period. So I, I, I advise you guys to, you know, think of education first. Education will take you wherever you want to go. It will lead you to wherever you want to go and make you do anything you want to do. One thing they can't take back is your education. I mean, football, basketball, you get hurt, and that's it. But you got to have an education to fall back on. And again, it'll make you that much more you know, powerful in this world is having an education and going to college and doing what you need to do. You know, you can help out your family members, do all that. And it's not about me anymore, it's about my family. So everything that I'm doing right now, it's, you know, it's relying on what my family, my mother, my brothers and sisters have. Uh, and, you know, just again, just, just giving back and being respectful and humble to where I came from. So, I, again, I advise you guys to never give up. <clears throat> do what you want to do. Don't never let nobody tell you that, you know, it's a limit to what you want to do. Everything you do is through you, and you can control what you want to do with your future. If you want to go to the NBA, go cheerlead somewhere, or, you know, do any sport you want to do. You got to have that mindset that nobody is going to stop you, and you're going to do everything in your will, in your power, to make yourself successful in the future. So, again, from now on, all you guys got to think about is school, getting that done, and again, graduation, having that degree, can't nobody take it away from you. So. Just those couple things, and, and that's the important thing right now is to finish in school and do what you need to do. Thank you. Okay, how are you guys? I want to get the other one. Get in line. Come on, let's get in line. Let's get in line. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Get in line. Get in line. Let's get in line so you can take it nice and easy. elementary probably about first second grade and these ladies right here just woke me in you know probably got in a little bit of trouble not not too much <laughs> but yeah I was in the opposition you know I, I did the same thing you guys doing man but uh, one thing that I really wanted to focus on was you know just going to school and getting your grades up make sure y'all gotta stay focused 
or what you want to do. Uh, the future is real important right now for you guys. Everything you need to do is, you know, just, just have a straight path for what you guys want to do in the future. Uh, you got to keep the grades up for one. If you guys play sports, you need to, the grades come first, and then sports. If you want to go to school and be a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, a teacher, your grades got to come first again. Uh, the most important thing is the education. So, you know, I play football for, I play in the NFL right now for the Carolina Panthers in North Carolina. But, you know, to this day, I still think about school, going back to school and finishing up and getting my master's. I already graduated Purdue or college last, what, two years ago. And, you know, I got my Bachelor of Science, Technology and Leadership and Innovation. And, I mean, I feel that that's not enough for me. I, I want to continue to do something, you know, try to be better, help out this community, help out, you know, kids like you guys and, and let you guys know it wasn't easy for me growing up. I mean, I didn't have as much as it is now, as I do now. You know, I'm out here every, I come here every day playing basketball. You know, on the field playing baseball, football at the park. But you know, when we had that time, we had to read books. Mm -hmm. I wanted to leave, but you know, now I see today that you know, every time we had to go in the library and read books, it helped out. You know, we had to. Do everything. <laughs> so, you know, you get called out of school, you got to read. You don't want to be that guy that's studying all over the world. So, you know, you go in this library every day and try to read at least 15 minutes. Uh, you know, even more than that, and just you know, get familiar with what you need to do. Again, college is not easy, high school is not easy, but it can be if you want it to be as far as taking care of your grades, every day doing your homework, staying out of trouble, you know, stop following these footsteps out here in the streets and all that. You know, I could have done it, but I didn't. I chose I wanted to be successful. I wanted to get my family and all those guys, you know, everything that I didn't have growing up. So I didn't have a father and it was hard for my mother. She had six kids, two girls, four boys. It wasn't the best, but you know we all we all contributed. We all got summer jobs and kept around the house. But again, that that was one of the reasons why I wanted to finish school and you know do what I needed to do to help out my family. So again, you guys never give up on your dreams. You want to be a teacher, lawyer, doctor, basketball player, NFL player, baseball player, any sports or any school. You know, you just gotta again. Everything is about school, so that's the most important thing. They can't take it away from you guys. And, and, and take you a long way. So that's all I want to say. You guys got any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stay across the street from me, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you guys' name, though. What is it again? Sunshine. Yeah, I remember you guys right across the street. Right across the street. Great. So you, you guys are growing up, man. My mama said she saw you on TV. She did? Where your brother's at? At home. At home. Yeah. I'm not going to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you play basketball still? No, I don't. All football now. Somebody else. Yeah. Did you give up your dreams? <laughs> never gave up. Never gave up. You gotta have faith in your dreams. You gotta carry it through, you gotta keep going. And that's what I am now. I'm playing NFL football right now. I never gave up my dream. So, so that was your favorite sport? That's my favorite sport. Yeah. So, my dear. No, that's the basketball. It was to be a rookie when you first got out of school. It was, you know, it wasn't hard, but it was it was a job. So, this was the whole job that I had to do coming from college. Now I'm getting here. Now I'm getting paid, so everything has to be good, everything has to be right, no messing up. So everything gets frustrated, but you know, you gotta you gotta remind yourself where you came from, how hard you worked to get there, and the things you gotta do to stay there. So uh, those three things stayed in my mind during the whole time I had to practice, the whole times I was you know messing up on the football field and doing what I did need to do. So, you know, it was staying focused, doing what I need to do it, and never going back to where I came from. Yeah. Did you win the teach the playoffs? Yeah, we went to the playoffs. <coughs> San Francisco 49ers. 49ers? 49ers. Yeah. What's up? Do you have playoffs? No. Uh, some teams that we know. It's kind of hot with me as well. In North Carolina. Anybody else? So y'all good? Yeah. yeah. So what's the slogan? Yeah. Oh. Never, Never give up. up. Never give up, right? How did you get to the playoffs? Team. We all got in this team. We stayed together. We played together. 
we had one common goal, and that was to become the best. And they worked hard. Work hard. Teach us. What position was it? Defensive tackle, number 99. Um, yeah. Next he used to play for the Goats. No, no. Nope, wrong guy. <laughs> what team I'm on? The Carolina Panthers? Cam Newton, I know you guys know Cam Newton, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I play with, I play with Cam Newton. I want to say. What person? Huh? What person? Huh? What person? Okay. What person? <laughs> what, what person? What person, who is he? Cam Newton, the quarterback? The Carolina Panthers? Yeah. Wait, you play with the Panthers? Who have a code in Ireland?